Today we are announcing campaign finance, bribery, and conspiracy charges against Eric Adams, the mayor of New York City. As the indictment alleges, Mayor Adams engaged in a long-running conspiracy in which he solicited and knowingly accepted illegal campaign contributions from foreign donors and corporations. As we allege, Mayor Adams took these contributions even though he knew they were illegal. New York Mayor, New York City Mayor Eric Adams has officially been indicted following a 10 month investigation by federal prosecutors. This is now the first time a sitting mayor in New York City is facing federal charges. The 57 page indictment accuses Adams of five counts that include bribery, conspiracy to commit fraud, wire fraud, conspiracy to commit wire fraud, and soliciting improper foreign campaign donations. Hey, don't scroll away, come back, come back. Because before the video continues, we just wanna urge you to lend your support to TYT. You power our honest reporting, you do it at tyt.com slash team and we love you for it. Now here you have the US Attorney for the Southern District of New York, Damian Williams, elaborating more on those charges, let's take a look. We also allege that the mayor sought and accepted well over $100,000 in luxury travel benefits from some of the same foreign actors who arranged many of the illegal campaign contributions. These benefits included free international business class flights and opulent hotel rooms in foreign cities. The mayor had a duty to disclose these gifts on his annual public disclosure forms so that the public could see who was giving him what. But as we allege, Year after year after year, he kept the public in the dark. He told the public he received no gifts, even though he was secretly being showered with them. And the individuals showering him with those gifts and those luxury trips happen to be, according to the Justice Department, uh, Turkish businessmen, which uh, Cenk will have to speak for in just a moment. But before he does, a few more details about these allegations. So the federal prosecutors also allege that the solicitations for illegal campaign donations began as far back as 2018. After raising funds for his 2021 mayoral campaign, he agreed to take donations from multiple Turkish businessmen, according to these allegations. He met several of them in Turkey and allegedly knew that taking their money was against the law and even went to great lengths to hide where the money was coming from. In exchange for these Turkish bribes, he sped up the inspection process done by the fire department in New York in order to open the new Turkish consulate sooner. And this, according to Damian Williams, actually allowed the building to open even before passing a fire inspection. And apparently this activity did not stop with his first campaign for mayor. He apparently continued with his reelection campaign. He sought contributions from corporations that are not allowed to contribute to political campaigns at all in New York City, according to federal prosecutors. And not only did his mayoral campaign benefit from the alleged corruption, but he also personally benefited with $100,000 worth of luxury trips paid for by these foreign businessmen. Um, so I'll get to how Adams allegedly tried to hide uh, all this money in just a moment. But before I do, Cenk, what do you have to say about your fellow countrymen? Well, this is obviously racism against Turks. <laughs> and so I won't stand for it, a, you know, classic anti-Turkish trope mm. that we're uh, greasy bribers of people, okay? And I'm deeply offended by it. And in fact, I think the feds here should be arrested. For Turkophobia? Yeah, and and Turkism. <laughs> and so and and I think that they're criticizing Turkey, and I think they, anyone who criticizes Turkey should be arrested. Oh, sorry, that's Israel. Okay, I <laughs> I that crazy talk. I thought for a second that we were talking about Israel. Okay, no, it, it's Turks. Arrest them right away. Who cares? They're dispensable. And okay, now in reality, what's my actual opinion? Of course, you should arrest them. And it looks the feds don't act like this unless they have overwhelming evidence. Mm -hmm. So they'll have to prove it in court against all the people involved, Adams and the and the Turks. That's now a punk band's name, Adam and Adams and the Turks. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and yes, one of the guys whose home was raided was named Jank. Okay, Jank Ojal, not Jank Uger. And so, um, I believe it or not. There are still some people who don't act just tribally, yeah, and based on race or ethnicity, etc. So 
Oh, nor on politics. Eric Adams is a Democrat. No, I don't think the deep state targeted him. Well, it's it's interesting because there are federal investigations into Democrats on a local level all across the country. Yeah. Okay, like there's a lot of corruption going on with local Democrats, <laughs> like a lot. And so, and by the way, also on a federal level, I mean, you have uh, uh, Senator Menendez facing very similar charges, right, for uh, taking bribes from foreign businessmen and all of that. Uh, Henry Cuellar, a Democrat out of Texas, was facing investigations as well. Now, let's talk about what the allegations having to do with like concealing the money come from, okay? Because he's also accused of doing that. And so here you have uh, an explanation of how far he went to conceal this foreign money. Let's watch. Adams allegedly disguised them all in the same way by accepting the money through so-called straw donors. A straw donor contributes someone else's money, hiding the money's illegal source, such as a foreign businessman, a corporation, or a wealthy New Yorker who has already contributed the maximum amount allowed. And as we allege, Adams circumvented all of these laws, taking contributions from exactly the sources the, the law prohibits, all to benefit his mayoral campaigns. So the straw donor method has gotten others in hot water. And so that is what the federal prosecutors are alleging Eric Adams did to essentially hide the fact that he was receiving these illegal campaign donations from illegal sources. And he denies all wrongdoing, Jenk. He says, I am innocent. In fact, this investigation is mainly because of the fact that he is a brave warrior for the people of New York City and uh -huh. goes so far as to speak against his own party when it's necessary to do so. Let's watch. Mm. I have been fighting injustice my entire life. That fight has continued as your mayor. Despite our pleas, when the federal government did nothing as its broken immigration policies overloaded our shelter system with no relief, I have been facing these lies for months. Since I begin to speak out for all of you. So he's claiming that because he was critical and harsh toward Joe Biden's, you know, handling of the border, that is why he was made a target. There are others who are alleging that, like, look, there's all sorts of criminality in New York City, and isn't it convenient that they went after the black mayor? You know, basically implying that this is a racially motivated attack against Eric Adams. But I want to be clear, there are plenty of people who aren't buying that argument, including the gentleman that you're about to hear from in the background as Eric Adams was trying to have a press conference. Let's watch. That couldn't have been fun for Eric Adams, but he certainly deserved it. Yeah. <laughs> so all of a sudden, the African garb comes out, uh, charges of racism come out because, yeah, whenever you're uh, it's Menendez, same thing uh, in New Jersey, the senator there. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're targeting me because I'm Lat because I fight so hard for Latinos. First of all, do you? Do you? Yeah. <laughs> you fight mainly for your donors. No, my favorite excuse for Menendez having the gold bars is because I'm Cuban. I mean, I'm you know I'm ready for anything. Got to make sure I protect my money, and I do so in the form of gold bars, obviously. Yeah, and and Biden was targeting you. Look, Biden can barely walk, talk, or think. <laughs> I mean, he can barely function. You think he's bothering to target the Democratic mayor of New York? It's absolutely absurd. But I got hilarious parts for you. I got to tell you. Uh, first, uh, Marco Antonio, one of our members on YouTube, made a good point. Um, Eric Adams is being controlled by the big kebab industrial complex. <laughs> now I got to deal with this. Okay. <laughs> okay. See, we do a different kind of show here. A lot of leftists would be uh, offended. Okay, right? but, but Turks do be making those kebabs, and, and they are big. 
to be fair. <laughs> and we have done, I mean, just go to Germany. There is a big kebab industrial complex. There really is. <laughs> okay. Anyways, Marco, that was funny. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, become one of our funny, smart members by hitting the join button below, and I'll read your comment during the airs. So, Eric Adams is really vulnerable because he's down to 28% approval. And so, uh, so it's not like he's got a lot of folks to back him up uh, because of this. And so now here comes the hilarious parts of the story. There's one Turkish guy called the promoter, uh, and he says, "Why don't I get?" I'm making up accent. Okay, <laughs> why I don't get him hundred thousand dollars? Okay, and sorry for using my dad's actual accent. Uh, okay, <laughs> and and his uh, Eric Adams staffer says, "No, quote." Uh, that could cause a big stink later on. So sh they say, I don't think Adam's gonna accept it. Adam, you go to Adam's, Adam's like, $100,000? Yeah, accept. <laughs> so was like, really? Yeah, he's like, yeah, okay. So these are according to the allegations. And then, um, then uh, he's gonna do a giant travel to Turkey. He's gonna stay at the Four Seasons, fly first class. The tickets are worth at least $15,000 for him and his wife, right? And so, the Turkish guy says, um, "Oh no, it's okay. It won't be free because he he's going to register as flying. We have to say we'll charge him fifty dollars." <laughs> and so the staffer goes, "No, dear, fifty dollars. What? Quote a proper price." And they're like, "Please," and they say, "Please make it a thousand or so. Let it be somewhat real." That's hilarious. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> they're like, "We want to." Take the bribe. We, we just, if you make it $50, everybody will know we're being bribed. So it, hilarious. And then the last one, this is my favorite. So, you know how the uh, FBI raided his car and went in and got yes. his electronic device? He it didn't have his cell phone on him at the time. Mm -hmm. So they said, okay, well, Mr. Mayor, we're going to need your cell phone. He said, oh, no problem. I'll get it to you tomorrow. Okay, he says he didn't have it on him. Anyway, so he brings it to them, and before it had a four digit security code, now all of a sudden it has a six digit security code. Uh, okay. And they're like, Mayor Adams, why did you improve the security on your code, right, on your phone? To make it harder for you, bro. No, no. no. He says, uh, so that his staff uh, wouldn't inadvertently or intentionally delete the contents of his phone. Oh. He's trying to protect the evidence mm. against them mm. in the phone. He doesn't want the staffers to get rid right, of it. Right. So they say, the investigators say, oh, okay, well, no problem. Thank you for protecting that evidence. So what's your six digit code? And he's like, I forgot. How is he this dumb? <laughs> No, but that's the thing that stands out to me the most. Like, how are you this dumb? By the way, uh, good job throwing your staff under the bus. What a piece of crap. But like, did you not think this through? Did you not think through that the investigators are gonna ask for the code? Yeah, and so that's why he said, "Oh, I have a genius idea. I'll just tell him I forgot." They're like, "You changed the code yesterday. Oh my God. You already forgot it." He's like, "Yep," and I'm not guilty at all. Biden and the deep state are targeting me. <laughs> if you say so, brother, if you say so, but it doesn't look like it. Now he uh, intends to finish the remainder of his term, assuming that he isn't tried and put in, in prison. Uh, but uh, he doesn't want to step down, even though there are increasing calls for him to do so. AOC called for him to step down just yesterday. Um, the only person who can remove him from uh, his position is Governor Kathy Hochul. And so far, she has given no indication that she intends to do that. So. Yeah, now fun fact, after the election, it is actually possible that Mayor Adams and President Trump could share a jail cell in New York. Okay, let's, <laughs> I would like to dispel the notion that Trump will ever end up in prison, okay, yeah, yeah. he's not. Eric Adams, see that's where race comes into play, a tiny, tiny bit. I don't think so, I don't think it's about race so much as his position, he wasn't president. Like I just yeah, think, yeah. I hear yeah. you. But I'll, a white, rich, powerful mayor of New York, like Bloomberg, ain't going to prison, right? We've seen white politicians get sentenced to, to prison. To be fair, to be fair yeah. to, Anna, to Anna's position. For corruption, Rudy way. Giuliani, former mayor of New York, is now indicted. Yeah. But that's when he beclowned himself so hard that he kind of stepped out of the establishment. And so I guess it's more, not less about race, more about it, are you firmly entrenched in the establishment? Mm. And I guess Eric Adams isn't. So it's not impossible for him to see. Uh, jail time as well as Donald Trump. Haven't there been senators who went to prison for corruption? Am mm -hmm. I misremembering this? Yeah, I mean, Menendez is about to go to prison. Yeah. 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 So, um, anyway, we'll see what happens. We'll see how this plays out. Remember, everyone is innocent until proven guilty. So, we'll see how the trial plays out.
Hey, thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it, guys. And we appreciate it if you become members because that allows us to be independent, honest, progressive, all the things that you don't get from corporate media. And all of that is because of you guys. Hit the join button below and become one of us. Become a young Turk.